Most often, when a man leaves the world without writing his will, his wealth poses a problem to the family. Family forgets that he has his own immediate family that are supposed to take ownership of his properties. Brothers of the late owner of Collapse Ikoi Building, Mr. Femi Osiwano, fight over his bank details, exotic cars, other assets. Hi guys, you're watching M Chiki series. If you're a joining subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. Also, hit the red subscribe button and turn your notification bell on. That way, you get our latest updates. So, the brothers of the late owner of the collapsed Ikoi building, Mr. Femi Osibano, fought his wife that came back from the US and his daughter over bank details, exotic cars, and other assets. So, according to Sahara reporters, sources close to the family said that the wife just came back and tried gaining access to her husband's apartment in Ikoi, but she was denied access by some of his brothers. They also learned that Mrs. Osibano, who had four children for the late Femi, is presently in a fight to finish with the brothers who are laying claim to the array of exotic cars, bank account details, and other assets. The family allegedly denied the wife access to the apartment because there were bundles of money, keys to expensive vehicles, and others in the house. Well, hell, I know they finish you. This is a serious issue. The two family factions, the wife and the brothers, they came with their own mobile police officers, Mupu, which were locked out by residents of the building who are the neighbors of the deceased. So the neighbors started to lock them out. And one of the sources said that the brother and the wife of Femi were fighting over access to bank details. Despite the fact that the man has a wife and four kids, the man has not been laid to rest. They're fighting over his property. His wife was at the site yesterday shouting at the brothers. Femi brothers have stopped his wife and daughter from getting into the apartment. According to the report, it is such a mess. So as the wife was shouting at the brothers, they were on the other hand telling her to go back to the hotel and stay in the hotel. And she also claimed that she has no money to go there. This is a serious issue. Another source said that the woman came to the house with Mopo. The family also engaged the services of Mopo on each side. There were about 20 people shouting on one another. Can you imagine the chaos? When it was already midnight, they chased every one of them out of the house. They were outside till midnight, shouting, swearing, boasting, and threatening. Instead of mourning, these people were fighting over assets. They have also engaged the popular lawyer, Olisa Abakoba, on the matter. So I don't know what runs in the mind of in-laws. Whenever their brother passes on, I don't know why they think that they have rights over their brother's property. When you talk about it, they tell you according to customs and tradition. But when the man was suffering, nobody saw him. When the man was struggling with the wife, nobody saw that. When you ask the woman now, you might be so shocked. The wife must have also contributed. But now nobody is talking about that. All that after is about wealth, property, assets, bank accounts. Then the four children who will take care of them, how will they continue their life? They don't have a life again because they lost their father, then everything about them will be crumbled. I've seen this kind of thing play out in some Nigerian homes, whereby when the man is no more, the family will gather together and drive the wife. They will take whatever that belongs to the man, leaving the wife and the children to suffer. It is very insane, it is very disgraceful that when a man leaves the earth, the woman that struggle with him is mistreated for no just cause simply because she's a woman. It is very sad and shameful that in this 2021 such a thing is happening today as we speak. The woman must have one word or the other endured some things for the man to get to the level where he is today. But the family, they don't see that. They believe that the brother has a lot of money. Why should the woman enjoy it? But when the man was suffering, who endured with him when he was suffering? And now the man is no more. The family from nowhere, they decided to fight for property with the wife. This is wrong. This is highly unacceptable. So families do it and at the end of the day, you see the woman going empty-handed, she will not have anything. Then the kids will be back to square one. You see them feeding from hand to mouth, begging. Most African rich men, they don't like to write well. They feel that when you write well, that means you are prepared to die. Barely, wasn't it only two days ago, barely 48 hours, they announced that the man has passed, that everybody is just fighting for property, assets, bank account. It is quite sad and unfortunate that he left the world this way without planning his wealth for his children and the family. And I hope the wife comes out of this because it's very sad. You sit on millions. At the end of the day, your children have nothing to show for it. You don't have anything to show for it. Family will take everything. 
sometimes i tend to wonder if these in-laws they actually ask themselves the same question do you want when you leave this world for your kids and your wife to be struggling with the family members over the wealth you suffered to make do they really think about that do they have conscience at all these are questions that come to my mind because the way they behave now mm-hmm, mm-mm, that's uncalled for i don't know why it is like this i've seen this severally and again these brothers that are fighting over the property they've not talked about the people that lost their loved ones there are people who are working there that now the man is no more they've lost automatically lost their job how will they pay them their severance package labor force in nigeria they don't have any protective laws then the people that are staff also that lost their life in the story building collapse who will pay them i don't know if he has insurance that covers those people how will they get their money it's my oh, son, my first son, he's just 17 years, he'll be 17 at December 30th. Mm. I'm hoping of God to see him, either to see my son alive or he's dead. That is what I needed now. I'm not fighting any justice. All the family is about is the money, money, money. They're not talking about his business, how the business will continue or they don't have any intention of continuing with the business. They just want to end everything. The man has ended and his business will also be ended. This is beyond my imagination. The family coming to take over the... I don't, I don't, I don't know why such a thing happened. Why are people so heartless? Why are they so entitled? Since the brothers, they've started fighting this woman. I don't know how this story will end. It looks like it's going to be messy. At the end of the day, it might end up at the court. The most annoying part of it is that the woman was not in Nigeria when the man kicked the bucket. The woman was in the US. It was when they announced that the man's body was found among the rubbles that the lady decided to come into Nigeria. So it seems like the brothers or the family members who were close to him before he left must have had access to a lot of things. So that goes to court and fight it out with them because that's the only way. How can you have a child? How can you have children, four children? And they will not be able to have access to their father's world. It's your brother. I don't know. What kind of brothers are these? I don't know. Women most often, they bear the brunt of the whole thing. You are married when your husband is gone. The family will turn around you for some families. So I don't know when this is going to stop. I thought this is an old tradition whereby a man gives up. The brothers will start looking for his property. I thought it is in the old. They do that, not of recent. When wealth is involved, it becomes a lot more difficult. When there's any property, when there's any monetary gain, when there's any resources to gain or to share, you see that it's not that easy. The time they're supposed to be mourning the man in peace, this is the time they're using to fight a battle of who will win the world, who will get this exotica, who will get this house, who will get this property, who will get that, 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 that. People are just mean. This is very unthoughtful of them. Don't even know, even if they are poor, the poorest of the poor, is it at this particular time they're supposed to be struggling for property? Can they wait after the burial, then they will start sharing the property? It shows that the family is a greedy one. The man is married. The man has four children. How will they pay the school fees? for the children how can they have the kind of lifestyle that they've been enjoying before the man kicked the bucket or is it now the man is no more they will show the children that the school you want to go mother will not be able to pay for the school they should have a rethink and i believe this is an old tradition people should discourage people from doing this because i see a lot of people online supporting this this is pure evil you don't do that two people that are married when they were alive not that they have any problem they don't have any problem from the look of things they've been together just that the man is working in nigeria and the woman is taking care of the children in the u.s then all of a sudden the man is no more and the family from nowhere they don't even know the role the wife played in the man's path then all of a sudden out of the blues because you are the man's brother you think you can just come in and take over his wealth why the wife look at you people do they even think all these people i think they also have family or is it that they don't understand what they're doing sometimes the way some families react i tend to wonder do they really understand the impact of that what they're doing or just the love of money that is pushing them around have they ever thought about how the children the man left behind you will go to school how they will feed how they will be clothed and stuff like that even the people working with the man how will they pay off the family that lost their loved ones in that story building collapse now that they have engaged the lawyer let's see how everything will go because according to sahara reporters they say that they have engaged a lawyer ulisa Abakoba. let's see how it goes the story is just unfolding this is really sad very shameful i don't like when family gets involved when in laws start fighting a woman that lost the husband what do you want to gain from it tell me it's really sad let me know what you guys think i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe 
Remember to share the video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. And I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.